Hi students, viewers, and subscribers. Here is a problem on indeterminate beams, continuous beams, with support settlements and solved by the three moment equations. So by three moment equations, determine the support reactions at A and B. Support downward movements are A, this is A, so 5 mm, B, 10 mm, C, 13 mm, D, 6 mm, and E, 2 mm. So before we proceed, uh, for those who want to anticipate the solution, you may pause the video or not look at the solution first, then solve it, then make sure that the answers are as shown in this video. By the way, E is fixed, so by the principle on three moment equations, we have to extend it. We have to replace it by an interior pin and extend it with a negligible distance and call that E prime, which is also a pin. And the moment at E prime, because this is the last support and it is a pin, is zero. Likewise, the moment at A is zero, so we only expect moments at the interior support such as B, C, D, and E. So there are four unknowns here, the moment, internal moments at B, C, D, and E. So by three moment equations, first we write three moment equation in span A, B, C. Take note that the moment at A is zero and here is our guide for those who are not yet familiar with the three moment equations. So it's uh, not recommendable that you should watch this video first. You should watch the lecture video, the, the principles, discussions there, and the derivation of the formulas in my YouTube channel on structural analysis. So there's a lecture video there. So this is the guide moment at A times length of AB plus twice the moment at the interior point or support times quantity length of AB plus length of BC. So by the way, the moment of inertia is constant. That's why uh, these lengths are free of denominator. So if the moment of inertia is not constant, this length should be divided by the, the moment of inertia supposedly. So in this case, we just consider EI equals 1 or I equals 1. So that's why we just divide them by 1. Then plus moment at C times length of BC plus 6 area 1A over length of AB plus 6 area 2B over length of BC equals 6 EI quantity HA over LAB plus 8 sub C over LBC. The reference horizontal line is, remember, at the interior point, which is in this case B. So, since moment at A is 0, so we write 0 plus twice moment at B, Quantity length of AB is 9, length of BC is 7, plus moment at C times length of BC 7, plus 6 area 1A over L of AB is the value of 6 area 1A over L AB with respect to A with respect to the left. So that's why you also review the formula 8 over 60 W L cube. That's the formula. W over 60 8 over 60 WL cube. And this value is equal to 5248.8 kilonewton meter square. Then for 6 area 2B over LBC, so the basic formula is PB over L quantity L square minus B square, where P is 45, B is distance of that 45 from the right which is from C4 over length 7, quantity length square 7 square minus B square, so 4 square. And the value is 5,940 over 7. Equals 6, EI is 150,000 kilonewton meter square, which is given. Then quantity, the A is above 
d by 5 mm 10 minus 5 and 5 mm is 0 0.005 that's why it is treated positive over length a b which is 9 then c is below b by 3 mm so that's why plus negative 0 0.003 meter over 7 and the value is 800 over 7 so simplifying and combining the constants we have for our first equation 32 mb plus 7 mc equals negative 209,408 over 35. So we will call this equation 1. Then for BCD, we write three moment equations on BCD. So we have mb times length of BC plus 2 times MC, quantity length of BC7 plus length of CD6, then plus MD times length of CD6 plus 6 area 1A over L1 for this load. So with respect to the left, PA over L, quantity L square minus A square, where, where P is 45, A this time is 3 meters, which is this and the value is 5,400 over 7. Then the value of 6 area 2B over L2 or LCD is WL cube over 4. So 36, 6 cube over 4. Then equal 6 EI, 6 times 150,000. The reference this time is C. So B is 3 mm above C. So we have quantity 0 0.003 over 7. Then D is above C by 7 mm, so that's why we have plus 0 0.007 over length of CD, which is 6, and the value is 10,050 over 7. Combining the constants and simplifying, we have for our second equation 7 mb plus 26 mc plus 6 md equals negative 8958 over 7. Call that equation 2. Then we write three moment equation on CDE. So we have moment at C times LCD six plus twice moment at D quantity six plus eight, then plus moment at E times eight plus W plus six area one A over L1, which is the value of this with respect to C is WL cube over four, and that's 1944, then plus the value of 6 area 2B over L2 for this part is, since it is clockwise, so moment over L, the formula is moment over L, 150 over L quantity 3B square minus L square. So 3 times 5 square, the distance of the couple from the right is 5, so 3B square minus L square. And the value is 825 over 4 equals 6 EI 150,000 quantity. The reference is D, C is below D by 7 mm, so negative 0 0.007 over 6. E is above D by 4 mm, 6 minus 2, so positive 0 0.004 over length of D, which is 8. And the value is negative 600. Combining the constants and simplifying, we have 6 MC plus 28 MD plus 8 ME equals negative 11,001 over 4. Call that equation 3. Then finally, we write three moment equations in D, E, E prime. So we have moment at D times 8 plus 2 times moment at E quantity 8 plus length of E, E prime negligible or 0 plus moment at E prime 0 plus moment plus 6 area 1A over L1 due to this load is moment 150 over L8 quantity L square minus 3A square this time. So L square 8 square minus 3A square where A is 3 meters. Then equals 6 EI quantity. Uh, by the way, E and E prime are on the same level. So H A prime is 0, but D is below E by 4 mm, so we have negative 0 0.004 meter over 8. The value, the value is negative 450. 
This value is 2775 over 4. Combining the constants and simplifying, you have 8MD plus 16ME equals negative 4575 over 4. Then, solving these four equations simultaneously, equations 1, 2, 3, and 4, we obtain these moments, so these values. Then, since we are tasked to solve for the reactions, vertical at A would be AX0 and the vertical reaction, I'll just call it RA. At B, I'll just call it RB. So considering AB, summation moment about B equals 0, these are the directions of the computed moments. So for MBA, clockwise, counterclockwise at A because the, the moment is negative, 192.45, and that's the direction. And moment at C is positive, so counterclockwise just to the left, clockwise just to the right of C, 24.977. So summation moment B equals 0, considering AB RA times 9 plus 192.435 equals the moment of the load, one half of nine times 54, one third of nine is three. So RA is 59.618 kilonewtons upward, moment at A is zero, we know that, and AX is zero. Then summation moment about A equals zero, so RB left, so the reaction just to the left of B, times nine, then equals 192.435, Plus the moment of the load, one half of nine times 54, two thirds of nine is six. So RB left is 183.382 kilonewtons upward. Then considering BC, assuming RB right is positive, so summation moment C equals zero, that's clockwise, then the moments of the given moments and the load are counterclockwise. So RB times seven, RB right times seven equals 24.977 plus 192.435 plus 45 times 4. So RB right is 56.773 kilonewtons upward. Then finally, RB is RB left plus RB right, adding, so we have 240.155 kilonewtons upward. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to understand the explanations and if you're confused with the equations, I suggest that you have to, uh, to watch the lecture video on three-moment equations and the derivations there. So that's it.